Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Jean Baptiste Philippe Yowedraugo. I have been mediator a few times, and every time I have been, I have always felt it was a duty and a moral obligation not to shun a patriotic call. Whenever my contribution can help to solve a problem, I am happy to do so. Such is the ideology of the man Jean Baptiste Philippe Yowedraugo, also referred to by his initials JBO, a practicing doctor, retired military officer, one time president of the Upper Volta, now known as Burkina Faso. Not many men have experienced such unexpected twists and turns in their lives and emerged with their patriotism, modesty, and moderateness intact. But JBO is one such few examples. That said, let's examine the life of this man. Born on the 30th of June 1942 in Kaya, French West Africa, to a Mossi family, Jean Baptiste Yowedraugo started his education at the BAM Catholic Primary School, later attending the minor seminary of Pabre before completing his secondary education at the Philippe Zinde Kabore Secondary School of Ogadaugo. He studied medicine at the University of Abidjan and the School of Naval Medicine in Bordeaux, graduating from the latter in 1974. He then took courses at the University of Strasbourg with a focus in pediatrics. Yuwadraugo finished his studies with a doctor of medicine and degrees in sports medicine, pediatrics and child welfare. October 1972 saw Yuwadraugo commissioned as a second lieutenant and medic into the Upper Volton Army. From 1976 to 1977, he served as first head of the pediatric department at the Yalgado Yowedraugo University Hospital Center in Ogadaugo. Afterwards, he interned at a hospital in Mall House until 1981. In October 1979, he was promoted to Medicine Commandant, equivalent to Major, and three years later, he was appointed Chief Medical Officer of the new Ogadogo Military Base, Camp Militaire de Gohen. On the 7th of November 1982, the then President of Upper Volta, Sai Zerbo, was ousted in a military coup which Oedrago participated. He and his fellow military officers then formed the Council of the Salvation of the People (CSP). And two days later, he was elected president by the council as a compromise choice between the leftist radical and conservative factions of the council, though according to Yowedraugo, he was chosen against his will by the other officers to assume the office of the presidency only because the more qualified, better experienced and higher ranked Captain Thomas Sankara, who was supposed to take power, withdrew at the last minute. On the 21st of November, Yuwadraugo declared that the CSP would restore a civilian regime in two years. A formal government was then installed by the CSP five days later, and being the only soldier in the cabinet, Yuwadraugo was made Minister of National Defense and Veterans Affairs in addition to his role as President. This new administration went on to restore the freedoms of labor and the press, which were formally restricted under the former President Zabo's regime. Also, the CSP in January 1983 elected Sankara as Prime Minister, in effect instituting a power counterbalance to Yuwadraugo. It seemed that Yuwadraugo was only little more than a figurehead, with CSP truly exercising government control. As Yowedrago's tenure progressed, he was increasingly unable to reconcile the widely opposed factions of the CSP, and his actions on May 16, 1983 in purging his administration of pro-Libyan and anti-French elements, disbanding the CSP and arresting Sankara and several other important officials, only end him disfavor with the populace.
realizing his weakening political position, unreliable support of the conservative faction he supposedly represented, and the mounting pressure of the opposition left wing, led by one pro Sankara officer, Blaise Kampauri, Yuridrago sought to appease his adversaries and on the 23rd of May 1983 delivered a speech. In his speech, he promised a quick return to civilian rule, the liberation of political prisoners and the drafting of a new constitution within six months to be followed by an election in which he would not participate. He also expressed his desire that patriots and new men with a sense of responsibility and national realities should assume leadership of the country, since in his opinion, the older generation of politicians had failed and should retire, and he finally expressed his hope that the upper voting youth would avoid the trappings of partisan politics. Several days later, he released Sankara, but confined him to house arrest. In spite of his efforts, tensions continued to mount and on the 4th of August 1983, Blaise Campari launched a coup using paratroopers mobilized at Sankara's garrison in Po to march on Ogadaugo. Yowedraogo attempted to negotiate a truce with Sankara but without success, and by 11 pm that day, the coup was complete. Yowedraogo was ousted. Upon being offered the option of exile by Sankara, he opted to remain in the country under the new regime. The following evening, he was imprisoned at the military camp in Po, and Sankara became the new president of Upper Volta. Joey Drago was officially removed from his post as Minister of National Defense on the 23rd of August and succeeded by Jean-Baptiste Bokari Lingani. He was discharged from the army two days later. On the 4th of August 1985, Yuedrago was granted clemency and returned to medical work, taking a job at the hospital Yagardo Yuedrago and upon his return, he declared that he would not take an active role in politics. In 1992, he successfully secured a loan of 250 million West African CFA francs from a French bank and founded a clinic, the Notre Dame de la Paix, in the Somganda district south of Yogadogo. In 2005, Yuedrago was awarded a gold medal by the Geneva-based Foundation for Excellence in Business Practice. He also won the first prize in the Ministry of the Environment's competition for the best living environment health facilities in the center region of Yogadogo. A street in Yogadogo was also named after him. In 2016, he was the president of the Federation of Private Health Professional Associations. In recent years, Yuedrago has, upon request, played a central role in mediating in politically tense situations and even a coup attempt. As a national figure, Yuedrago has contributed much to ensure political rehabilitation and stability in his country. He is married to Bernadette and they have three children, all physicians. What have we missed out of this biography of Yuedrago? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.